Hi everyone, my name is Yinuo Zhao from China. So today I'm going to talk about the research on momentum strategy and contrarian strategy in AI stock price predicting. We're going to talk about it in five parts. The first is introduction, and then is the research question, and then is the research process, the findings, and the reflections. First, let's look at the introduction. The motivation for this research is that as the thriving of OpenAI and ChatGPT, AI stock price in China is rising. And there are two popular yet contrasting forecasting techniques, namely the momentum strategy and contrarian strategy. The momentum strategy says that the stocks that did well in the earlier stages will continue to expand. And in contrast, the reversal strategy says the stocks that have experienced a significant increase in prices in the past are more likely to decline in the future. So that leads us to the research question. Which method is more suitable for predicting the AI stock prices? And what is the future of the trend of AI stock market in China? Will it keep rising or will it drop? So the research process have basically three parts. The first is the data selection. We select the data according to the cross reference referenced in China financial database, I find, and wind economic database in chat GPT plate. Uh, and then we have 19 concept stocks selected in one week following the public release of ChatGPT on November the 30th, 2022. So our data is from December the 8th, 2022 to May the 8th, 2023. And then we need to perform the momentum strategy. To begin, the arithmetic return is calculated according to this formula. Uh, so basically, the PT represent the price of a particular day, and the corresponding PT minus one represent the price of the previous day. And then this study cycles for zero to sixty days to determine the model with maximum goodness of fit in order to produce the best index prediction. And when the return is positive, the daily position is set to one. And conversely, when the return is negative. Uh, indicating a drop, then the daily position is set to minus one. And finally, we modify the positions if the return for the previous day was positive and the stock price increased, and then we buy long. And if the yield was negative, we sell short. And of course, we've done all this process of, with Python. And then we need to conduct a contrarian strategy. It, it implies that a stock continues to climb for a period of time, followed by a callback, and the continue to fall for a while, followed by a rebound. So the, the threshold for defining the callback and rebound becomes highly essential. So in this study, we use these two formula to determine the distance where, where the SMA is calculated by n days price over n days, and distance equals a certain days close price minus n days SMA. And next, we're using the mean of that distance as the median and the standard deviation as the threshold. And if the current day's distance exceeds the threshold, shorten the next step. And if the distance is smaller than the threshold, then purchase over time. And when the distance value alter between the positive and negative value for two days in a row, it means that the distance has returned to its mean value. And the position are closed until the following time distance becomes excessive. And similarly, Python is applied to locate the maximum goodness of fit to get ideal value of n. And next, let's look at the findings. The result is shown in this table. We can see that three stocks cannot be explained by neither of the strategies, and the momentum strategy is far more effective than the reversal strategy. And we can also see that the optimal n value of momentum strategy is basically in the intermediate range. However, the optimal n value of the contrarian strategy is quite extreme. It's either too short term or extremely long term which further demonstrate that explanatory power of the reversal strategy is negative. And next, let's compare the result of momentum strategy and contrarian strategy. 
This is an example of one stock. We can see that the return is the blue line, and uh, all the all the other lines are the predicted value of the momentum strategy. We can see, despite it was different n values, they have plainly varied fading degrees. Every Every n value can basically predict the rising trend of every stage. However, the reversal strategy failed to predict the every stage rising trend. However, it only predicts the modest rising. So we can conclude that, according to the results, momentum strategy can forecast at least eighty percent of the upcoming stock price changing changing of majority of AI concept stocks listed in Chinese stock market. And in contrast, the contrarian strategy is unable to accurately forecast market movements. However, this result goes against what majority of researchers on China stock market have concluded. They believe that reversal effect existed in Chinese stock market. And there are three reasons accounting for that. The first is that stocks of actual AI concept are increasing. According to other research, it said that investors' delayed reaction to new information and development of price expectation have resulted in the momentum effect. But this effect will reverse itself as the price gets closer to the expectations. And right now, the AI concept price has not, not yet reached the expectations. So that's why the momentum strategy is useful. And the second reason is that the momentum strategy is preferable to bear market in the bull market. So right now, clearly, the AI stock concept market is in a, a bull market. So that's why the uh, momentum strategy can perform better than the reversal strategy. And the third reason is that DHS model says the stock price to follow the momentum strategy in the short term, but suitable for reversal in the long term. And we select our data in only six months, it's quite a short term. So that's probably the third reason. And finally, let's see the reflections of this uh, paper. So this paper provides a way to use Python to perform the momentum and contrarian strategy. However, there are some flaws about it. First is that it omits the turnover data by only considering the opening and closing price of AI concept stocks. Some important information about the trading volumes and the liquidity is overlooked. And the second is that it failed to create a combination that wins and one that loses. Uh, instead, it, it directly stimulates the outcomes using Python following the principle of two strategies, allowing for adopting of more precise prediction techniques in subsequent studies. And finally, is that there is still much to be learned about the momentum strategy and reversal strategy's existence in China's stock markets in terms of their forms or their reasons for existing and ability to predict the stock prices. So that's all I want to share. Thank you for listening.